play together. Want to come play with me? Come on. Remember when you were a kid and you'd go up to people's doors? Not their social media profiles, not their digital iPads, but you would actually walk to people's houses and you would knock on the door and you'd be like, can you come out and play? Hey, you guys. What are you doing? <laughs> it's your girl, Gypsy Pearl. It's your girl, Angelina. It's your girl, Dance Daily for Life. <laughs> okay, so after laying out on the beach for several hours, riding, getting some sun, I didn't really swim because I don't know, the water here at this particular resort, it just, it's cleared up a lot, but it just doesn't appeal to me for really swim, swim, swimming. I've swam at other beaches, but not here. <laughs> so it's about sunset. So I figured it's time to chat. <laughs> but this time, I'm making my way over to the swings because I just want to swing a little bit. You know? Well, they're all full of cute little children. Let's see. Oh, let's see what else I can get into. Oh, there's a big old chair over there. Oh, I think I could do that. Cause you know, I'm gonna be chatting it up and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna interfere with the kids playing on the swings. So, that chair looks pretty boingy. Uh, let's see. Fred, can, can you see the beautiful sunset? Come on. Woo, woo, woo. So boingy. I'm going to turn around so you can see it. Whoa. Whoa, we Beautiful sun in Cancer. The solar eclipse started yesterday. I haven't seen that it actually eclipse here. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's not visible everywhere. I wonder what's going on with that, but it's so beautiful. And the energies are so yum and warmy. Let's see, how do I get to that big old chair over there? Okay, I'm gonna have to go to this, down the winding little path here. <laughs> Hope y'all are having a good day. This trip has been so interesting, you know. I'm so grateful to be able to extend my stay and enjoy the nice weather, the fun water sports that I have done, jet skiing in the ocean, out in the ocean, a jet ski dolphin tour, saw a bunch of dolphins, two sets of three. I think it was like the same family that followed us, but it was um, a mama, daddy, and a baby. It was so cute. But, um, and there was also a shark. I didn't see the shark, but the instructor did. <laughs> and then he told us after the fact. <laughs> I guess I didn't want anybody to freak out. But it's good that you, when you're on a jet ski, if you see a shark, because you can high tail the hizzle out of there. <laughs> Look at this chair, okay? <laughs> My God, that's a humongous chair, isn't it? I'm here at the playground. There's a bunch of different little playground areas here. And um, I wanted to swing, but that's okay. The kids are doing it. You know, just a swing in. How's that song go? Swing in. <laughs> I loved to swing when I was a kid. I used to try to swing so high, I'd flip all the way around. Oh. I loved my swing sets too. Also, I used to get up on them and, and do gymnastics stuff on them. And, oh, I loved it. So, what I wanted to chat about, oh, I'm climbing up here. This is a humongous chair. Wow, this one's fit for a king. Or I should say queen. Sun, oh, itching a little bit. Got a little bit of sunburn going on. Well. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this. It makes me feel kind of like, you know that movie Big where everything was really big and somehow in the movie he kind of was like stuck in a state of childhood 
and but he was a grown man and then he uh, wound up designing toys that helped revolutionize the market and they were really successful and you know people didn't take him seriously at first because he was so childlike in nature and just so playful but when he started working at the company where the people made the toys and he started making waves people started taking notice of him especially when sales started getting generated and kids all over the world were enjoying his toys that he was making because he was making them from his inner childlike perspective I love that movie Tom Hanks um, and that's the perfect reference for this video because I was inspired to just kind of chit chat with you guys about awakening the inner child you know if it's asleep if it's dormant in your life <laughs> wake it up wake up and dance it out you know children always love to dance you never have to convince them to you know but when people get to an, into adulthood they start thinking about all the reasons why they shouldn't dance or why they can't dance or they don't have time to dance because they're too busy, busy being responsible adults and that's just not in their schedules on their priority list well what I'm saying is it needs to be oftentimes you know people work their lives and then they you know retire the goal is the program of our society is you know you work 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 and then you retire and then you can have some playtime well you know what I've noticed is that oftentimes by the time people retire you know that they're, they're not as able to play as much as they would like you know whether it be physical um, situations where there's limited movement and or illness or and or um, funds or you know whatever it may be Oh, I'm going to have to put this phone on airplane in a second. Um, I usually do that before I film video so I don't get interrupted. But I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, so my point is, is that why wait until we retire to have some fun and let that inner child come back out to play? You know, it only takes a few minutes or a few seconds to get a few, just a little bit of play in your life. You know, um, with Dancing Daily for Life, the message is to, you know, put one song into your day, you know, as a part of your get ready routine and or somewhere in your day, but it's most beneficial at the top of your day. It sets the tone for your entire day because it moves your energy and it gives you energy for your day and your day will go more awesome at work being a responsible adult. And you will actually be a nicer human in society too. But it heals you in so many ways and gives you so many gifts and blessings that I don't understand an adult mind that can logic its way out of trying it or doing it. But then again, I kind of do. <laughs> because I'm human too. And all those reasons not to do it come popping up in my head too. But it's about practice. It's about practicing, you know, allowing those, if, if those thoughts come up, just ignore them. You know, just ignore them. You know? And when you practice doing that enough, it'll become more of a habit. And they won't be coming up as much. You know so that's how you can create the habit of getting the hizzle out of your own way when it comes to doing something fun and moving your energy whether you're dancing or walking jogging whatever physical exercise that you like to do dancing is really really important that's why I'm sharing this because just moving your body that's all dancing is it's just movement <clears throat> but when you do it in your own kind of way it's like a really, really unique way of you expressing your unique self, your authentic self, feeling your awesomeness, and getting, you know, becoming one with yourself at the top of your day. And um, so when you do that, oftentimes, you know, I know for me anyways, I get silly with it, you know? After I catch a flow, even if I was gimped up early in the, in the dance, if I catch a flow, oftentimes I get silly and I just like make fun and just make up moves and do whatever. And you know, that triggers your inner child your inner childlike spirit <clears throat> to come out to play and as soon as you do that and you're laughing and you're giggling it's just such a release it's such a relief to feel that as an adult and um, so I just want to you know remind you guys of that and touch in on it a little bit you know here I am in this big old chair ooh, ooh, ooh. feeling all big feeling kind of small but not <laughs> but yeah just over here playing playing around at sunset you know this beautiful sun can you see it it 
it's in cancer and um i did some other videos they're a little more intense a little bit more edgy you know a little deeper and deeper and different things but i'm just sharing what's on my heart you guys so i appreciate you watching and i want to thank all of my subscribers that have been with me since day one and all the new subscribers that are popping up each day thank you so much i love you know that when you enter into this mission work with me it is a mission um that i i send everyone awesome high vibes every single day after i dance and i go into my prayer meditation and energy work uh, part of my day i send every single one of y'all some good high vibrations i hope you feel it and i hope that your lives are <clears throat> a little more boingy because you've entered into my little bubble over here on dance daily for life and i know that i've got a website launching like it's like right on the edge i mean it's a technically it's already on the web I just haven't promoted it yet because I'm gathering my merchandise for you guys. I want you guys to have things that are fun that you can buy alongside my course studies that I've created, which are going to be donation based, minimum $25. You can purchase a course study and all the information for all of this stuff is just going to be in the context box below. Uh, feel free to visit uh, dancedaily.com. Go ahead and get a peep at what's going on on there before I launch the merchandise. I'll let you guys know when I do. I'll be doing some giveaways. Feel free to follow me on uh, Instagram at Dance Daily for Life as well. And like my Facebook page, Dance Daily for Life. There's also going to be links on there for my, my beautiful mess record from, at gypsypearl.com. And if you're interested in making music, I have a pro audio studio, Atlanta Studio 12. So feel free to get to know me and all the things I do. I'm, I'm a creative. I've been at it since I was little. I've been professional since I was in my mid-twenties. And I'm 47 now. So I've been in the game a minute. <laughs> but I'm so grateful to be sharing Dance Daily for Life with you guys and growing this YouTube channel. I think I'm only a few away from uh, monetization. So thank you so much. I love you all dearly. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Feel free to like and comment and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I start going live. You know, it'll only notify you once. <clears throat> it's not like you're gonna get inundated with notifications. <laughs> but I would love to start going live on YouTube and actually have people show up. And if you don't have the notif- <coughs> <coughs> Shit, skill on fun. If you don't have the notification bell clicked, you won't get notified when I go live. You only just see it if you happen to be on YouTube. So it would be really helpful if you guys start clicking on that notification bell so that I can start going live with you guys and we can play and dance and have dance parties together live on location wherever I'm traveling, wherever I'm at, whether it's at home or around my neighborhood, around Midtown Atlanta, uh, at any of the locations that I travel to, such as uh, beaches, which I love, and or whatever and whatnots and so-and-sos. I would love, love to start doing some live dance parties where, you know, I go live and we can interact and, you know, you guys can interact with me and tell me, you know, like things that are going on in your day and we can dance together and have a few minutes of just sheer blissful joy in this life for a minute. So yeah, I just want to thank y'all. I'm looking at the sun. I'm starting to set. Let's see. Let's see if I can. can y'all see it? I can't tell if y'all can see it in the camera right now, but hopefully you can. But yeah, the Cancerian energy, it's a very feminine motherly, motherly vibe. It's, um, oh, let me scoot on down here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, I'm the crazy lady over here trying to sit in this chair. Oh, look how big it is. <laughs> oh, the fun place. See, that's what I'm trying to bring you guys to, the fun place in your heart your inner child your inner child is where all the fun is and guess what fun can create wealth you know when you're having fun you relax you breathe you get oxygen <laughs> and you know oxygen will actually inspire your brain to think of cool new ideas of how to look at life and maybe even, you know, invent something, a new concept, a new way of like running your business, managing your employees, uh, managing your family, household, you know, 
I understand that it's got to be a challenge being a parent, especially if you've got, you know, a lot of children, you know, even just one child, I'm sure is a lot. I'm not a mom yet. I am a fur baby mom though. <laughs> and I've had many a fur baby in my life and I've worked in rescue and I have whelped and weaned two litters of pit bull puppies. Well, one was an Amstaff Terrier and then the other was a pit bull. And um, that was a certain kind of mominess that I observed that was beautiful and it changed my life. But I'm speaking to you from the mother nature aspect of things. You know, the motherly instinct is so powerful. It kicks in the overdrive when you become a physical mom, I'm sure, from what all my mama bears tell me and what I witness and uh, observe. It's a fierce, instinctual, intuitive energy that kicks in and turns you into a superhero. <laughs> But also, it can kind of, if, if you're really fear-minded and stuff, it, it can become, it can also, you know, dramatize your fears, too. And you can get really gimped up in, in that. And uh, I've witnessed it, too, you know. And I just feel for moms. I know I probably drove my mom's life crazy in my life. Um, so I've just been so unusual. But she understands me unlike anyone on this planet. And she loves me unconditionally. And that unconditional love is why I'm here today, being able to talk to you guys, freely expressing myself. Her love and support has been there for me through thick and thin from the beginning. And I'm so grateful that she's my best friend and I learn from her daily. The motherly instinct of divinity is so open and so present right now with this moon in Cancer, this new moon. It's not a full moon yet. As it comes into the full moon, it's gonna get more intense. But it's at new moon status now, and we're having a solar eclipse. So eclipses usually mean, um... I'm actually filming a video right now. I'll be done in a few minutes. Oh, huffy puffy. You're not the only one here. Gosh, she was pally. Sometimes you just have to stand your ground with people and say no. Um. <laughs> I'm just as important as anybody else at this place. I pay good money to be here. And I just came out here and I've only been here for a few minutes, so. And if she was nicer about it, I might have said yes. <laughs> Oh, don't you just love it? That was probably a mother that needs to be dancing. Oh, her vibes are stanky. She needs to be dancing. I'm gonna go talk to her in a little bit and give her my card. Um, this chair is not just for taking pictures at. It's for sitting in. That's what chairs were made for. <laughs> They're welcome to come up here with me. Maybe I should have said that. <laughs> See, now I'm feeling bad and I didn't do any damn thing wrong, okay? It's all good. It's just because I, I have a heart and I don't, I don't really like, I don't like to be a butthole to people, but I will stand my ground. And that's a loving thing. But as I was saying, the motherly instinct, the divine motherly instinct is so fierce too and very loving. So loving that it's, it's engulfing our entire planet and every living thing right now penetrating giving us a big giant love hug you know encouraging us to heal our childhood wounds comforting us every single second that we embark on this inner work because there's more love coming there's just more love to have in this life you can never reach the ceiling of love there is no ceiling the sky is the limit and so far as humans have discovered that if you travel into the sky Guess what? You get, there's not, you don't just hit a ceiling and then come popping back down. You break through the atmosphere and you go into outer space. And so far in our travels and our uh, science and our well awareness, we've only been able to travel so far, but there's more. We can see it. There's more. We can see it. There's cameras. There's much, much more. There's much, 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 much more room. It's, it's an infinite. There's always more love coming. There's always more love. There's just always gonna be more love. But we need to clear 
our childhood wounds, if there are any, and we all have them. There are so many cycles in humanity that are getting healed layer by layer by layer by layer, whether it be abuse, addiction, fear, forms of every fashion that you can imagine, judgment, being judgmental, having that mental program where your mind says that you it, that it's your right to, to judge other people at the very just seeing them walk by. That has got to fall away, people. I mean, we've come a long, long way. We really, really have. But it's got to fall away. All the way. I mean, all the way. So that we can just have more love. <clears throat> my throat chakra. The more and more I open my, my, uh, my throat chakra, the more and more I have to clear it. But that's okay. I'll clear it. Clear it and clear it. <laughs> and just keep opening and opening. So, it's important for us to heal those childhood wounds, y'all. You know, this Cancerian moon may be having us in our feels. You know, things that we've already thought we healed might be coming up. There might be some residue in our cells. That's why dancing is so important because it moves your cells physically. The physiology comes in and it cleans your body by move through movement. <clears throat> and you will experience uh, DNA upgrades and downloads in your body because we are all graduating into another uh, dimension. We are becoming crystalline bodies. No, it doesn't mean we're going to like turn into holographs and be walking around and be like transparent like holographs. It does mean we will be more transparent energetically. There won't be so much density. It, it means that the, the aging process is going to, is, is reversing. People that are in the high vibrational realms are experiencing it. All the high vibrational people are being uh, lovingly nudged to go next level, next level, next level. There's more, there's more, no matter what vibrational level you're at. But it's very important for everyone, you know, to do this inner work and, you know, heal your inner child. Allow this beautiful Cancerian new moon and full moon to just saturate you with love from the Divine Mother essence and just love hug you and cradle you until you just feel the comfort. And if you need to cry, cry. Let it out, release it, say bye-bye, because we just don't need to hang on to it anymore. If we do, we're just going to be blocking that more love that's trying to get to us and give us so much life. If you're a creative or an entrepreneur, it, it, you know it's very important to do this inner work. You might be reading all those books and everything, but honey child, you need to be healing that inner child. <laughs> I love you. These little ones are so beautiful. They don't think about how free they are because they just are too busy being free, you know? And that's what, where we need to be. And I do feel strongly that the, the, the divine heart, feminine heart is ushering us through this process and loving us in such deep ways. Ooh, four birds just flew over. That's my angel number <laughs> for, for my mission. Dance daily for life. Um, she's ushering us through this so be open be open to the universe communicating with you in different ways that only you will know that will confirm your path don't you're not going crazy or anything but just let it all go you know uh, google uh, inner child healing work and see what you can find go to YouTube and search it there are teachers and counselors that are doing in-depth works if you want to enter into something if you've been through some childhood tra traumas and abuse that you just you know, having a hard time wrapping your, your yourself, your head around trying to tackle this inner work, don't hesitate to reach out to someone and get that help. You are the best investment you can make. And as a parent, just think how much your inner child healing work will, will not only make you happier and prosper more and be able to usher in more love into you, but it's going to help empower you as a, as a parent to be even more loving parent, even though you're already awesome, I'm sure. But just saying, there's always more. There's always more. There's always going to be more love. And more love is dawning upon us, you guys. I hope you will take this message and put it right into your heart. And just let it resonate. Let it marinate. It's important. The more mature we become, the more important it, it becomes for us to heal these childhood things. So that we can enjoy our lives and evolve and experience a forever young existence like we were originally created to. 
forever young. I wanna be forever young. Don't you wanna go? How's that song go? <laughs> go, go, go listen to that song. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this chair, see if I can make my way over to that lady and just kinda let her know I wasn't trying to be rude. And, um,. You know, drop a little dance daily for life business card on her. Maybe give her a little hug. <laughs> Invite her to join the dance of life with me. With us. Because you know we're all one. We are all one. She's just a reflection of, of many of us. You know, nobody was out here on this chair until I came over to her. <laughs> but that does happen sometimes. And it's okay. But, uh... Yeah, so like, I encourage you, tap into your fun place, your inner child, play. Come on, let's live this life. Feel free to watch my other videos and see me playing around. Oh, and until then, feel free to like the video, it helps spin the wheel. Okay, here we go. <laughs> What is it? <gasps> oh! I don't want to hurt it, but I don't. Well, you know, you're not hurting. You've got a good little scooper there. Oh, God! <laughs> Sorry. I was not expecting it. <laughs> the way they move from on the side is so funny, right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was a cute one. It's just they move so sudden. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was cute though. I enjoyed that. No, you're fine. That was fun. I liked it. Y'all have a fun rest of your night. See ya. Beautiful little crab just wanted to be in the video. I wish I could have got it. I'm not a master at this little selfie stick yet though. Oh, I'm glad I, stopped. I didn't stop filming. I just feel like that was nature's way of like confirming this video. Just like spirit always confirms me in different ways that means something to me be open to stuff like that it's not just a little crab doing its thing it happened at a certain moment and it's symbolic of the cancerian zodiac sign so be open to feeling the connections and the symbols and the communication that spirit uses to confirm you to talk to you to um, entertain you to play with you we're all children of the universe. Don't you wanna play? <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. My hair is like in this weird flippity flip flop. <laughs> but it feels good. Yeah, some of my favorite little hairstyles are when I'm just flip-flopping and flip-flopping and around and not even looking at it. I still want to get over there and get on that swing. <laughs> I've got my eye on the swing, y'all. Oh, y'all will know if I can get over there. <laughs> oh, I still can't get that lady off my mind, though. Because sometimes, you can, sometimes there's a little stinky butt that wants to like try to block you or interfere with your yummy flow of positivity and usually it's just because they have some work to do hopefully i'll see her but right now i just want to pray for her and just ask divine feminine heart to wrap around her and love her a little extra and um comfort her because she got really miffy and um Ain't nobody got time to be walking around pissed off because you can't even freaking take a picture in front of a chair. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> let's be real, you know? <sighs> okay, I feel better now. Sent her some love. But yeah, if you've got any stinky butts in your life that just like are in your world somehow or another, and they're just interfering with your flow and, and your, what you're doing or creating in some kind of way. You know, you may need to clip them. 
You may need to just say no. You may need to create that healthy boundary that is a self-loving, very loving thing you can do for yourself. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you again. And I will see you in the next video. Let your inner child come out and play. If you want to go watch that movie big, go watch it. Get inspired. Go play the song Forever Young and feel it in your bones. Because that's where we're headed. The universe isn't letting anyone out of, out of reach. It's happening energetically. So the more we open to it, the more, the more and more we get to feel it. Because there's always, always, always more. In children, they always want more, don't they? They just are like, more, if something's fun or they like it or it tastes good or whatever. More, I want more, more, mommy, more. It's okay for us to want more and we need to be wanting more. We need to want more for our lives. We need to want more love. We need more love. We are more love. We are so lovingly made. It makes so much total logical sense that more love is moving in. I hope you'll just let it move you into the dance of life. <laughs> I love you guys. Hope you're dancing daily. Remember, anything is a dance that if you're moving, you're dancing. Like right now, my hand is dancing. My hand is dancing. My hand is dancing. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> anything that's moving, when you're moving, you're dancing. Make it up. Be a child. Be silly and play. You'll love it. It'll feel good. Who cares what anybody thinks? Let's just have a good time. Let's play together. Want to come play with me? Come on. Remember when you were a kid and you'd go to people's doors? Not their social media profiles. Not their digital iPads, but you would actually walk to people's houses and you would knock on the door and you'd be like, can you come out and play? <laughs> and they would say yes or no, depending on their parents. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm asking, can you come out and play with me? Can you come out and play with the love in your heart? Let's have some fun. Fun is important. It's valuable, okay? Remember that, adults. I love you so much. Mwah. Can you come out and play with me? Move you into the dance of life. Ain't nobody got time to be walking around pissed off because you can't even freaking take a picture in front of a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was not expecting. <laughs>